This question is about rotation. The shape on the left is the target shape. One of the five answer choices on the right is an exact copy of the target shape, except it has been rotated, spun around. Select this rotated copy of the target shape from the answer choices. In order to answer this question, we're going to consider this figure. We're going to think about how it would look if it rotated in a clockwise or an anti-clockwise manner. The resulting figure is represented by one of these five answer options. In order to answer the question properly, we can take a closer look at this figure and its features. Like this. As you can see, the figure has several features. It comprises two irregular shapes, a smaller one inside a larger one. But we can still note features such as pairs of parallel lines, narrower sections and wider sections. You can see the relationship between this narrow section and this wider section, for example. Parts of the shape appear to have been cut away and other sections appear added on. Looking at things like right-angled corners and their relationship to other parts of the shape can also be helpful. Let's now consider how this figure will look as it rotates around. As you can see, here is the figure in its original orientation. As we move from figure to figure towards the right and into the second row, each time there is a rotation of 45 degrees anti-clockwise. Moving in the opposite direction means a rotation of 45 degrees clockwise each time. But the figure can be in any orientation, so we should be prepared for that as we reconsider those five answer options. In option A, for the figure to be in this orientation, it would need to look something like this. But as you can see, this is the wrong way round. Consider that narrow section and the wider section. That's because option A is in fact a reflected version of the figure. If the figure was in this orientation and we used a vertical mirror line to reflect it, A would be the result. Option B is also a reflected version of the figure. Consider the figure in this orientation, and if we used a vertical mirror line here, hopefully you can recognise that B is a reflection. Option C, furthermore, is a reflection. It's a reflection of the figure in this orientation using that vertical mirror line here. Therefore, C cannot be correct. Option D, however, is not a reflection. Consider the relationship between these two sides and imagine rotating this shape around until it was in this orientation. Those two sides would still share the same relationship. D is the orientation of the shape like this. D could therefore be the right answer. Option E, once again, is a reflected version of the shape. Consider the shape or figure in this orientation and using a vertical mirror line here to reflect it. E would be the reflected result. It means then that option D was the right answer here. It's the only answer option that represents a rotation of this original figure and not a reflection. Top tip. If you are considering whether or not a figure could be a reflection, Try to picture it rotating around to be in the same orientation as the original. Would it look identical? If not, it is possible that it could be a reflected version of the figure rather than a rotated one. Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, this question is about rotation. The shape on the left is the target shape. One of the five answer choices on the right is an exact copy of the target shape, except it has been rotated, spun around. Select this rotated copy of the target shape from the answer choices. In order to answer this second similar question, you're going to consider this figure and think about how it will look when it rotates in either a clockwise or an anti-clockwise manner. The resulting rotated figure will be represented by one of these five answer options. When you're ready, pause the video and try to work out the right answer here. Try to do that within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, resume the video and we'll check the answer together.
In order to answer this question, let's take a closer look at this figure and its features. Like this. As you can see, this figure comprises a main shape with sections cut away like this semicircular section, this triangular section, this quarter circle section and this irregular shape. Inside the shape there are two circles and a semicircle. The two circles are arranged in this alignment or orientation which is the same as this side of the shape. This side and this side are parallel to one another. Noting the features like this and their relationship to one another is very important because of course those features will still be present in the figure even when it rotates. Let's now consider how this figure looks when it rotates around. So here is the figure in its original orientation. Here it is after a 45 degree rotation anti-clockwise and a further rotation of 45 degrees anti-clockwise and so on. Moving each time in this direction means a further rotation for that figure of 45 degrees anti-clockwise. And of course moving in the opposite direction means the opposite, a rotation each time of 45 degrees clockwise instead. Let's now think about those five answer options. In option A, for the figure to be in this orientation with the curve towards the right, the shape or figure would need to look like this. As you can see, everything in A is the wrong way round. The orientation of the shapes within the figure are all incorrect. This is because A actually represents a reflection. It's a reflection of the figure in this orientation. Consider a vertical mirror line here and think about reflecting that figure in it. A would be the result. A cannot be the right answer because we know we're not looking for a reflection but a rotated version of the figure. Option B is also a reflection. It's a reflection of the figure in this orientation. Imagine that vertical mirror line here. C is also a reflection. It's a reflected version of the figure in this orientation. Imagine that vertical mirror line once again. C would be the result. D is also a reflection. Consider the figure in this orientation with a vertical mirror line here. Reflecting that figure would result in option D. E, however, is not a reflection. This is a rotated version of the original figure. You can see it represented here. All the features in E are correctly positioned with the right orientation or alignment and they all have the right relationship with one another. E, therefore, must be the right answer, as it's the only answer option which does not represent a reflected version of the figure. Top tip. If you are considering one particular answer option, can you imagine it rotating around to be in the same orientation as the original shape? Would all the features you noticed be in the same arrangement? If so, it is very likely to be the correct answer.